Let's cover a second example of using Hydra on a web page. So in the previous video, we noticed that the tool can get a little bit hard with the syntax. We brute forced the dbwap page, and now we're going to go with the dvwa page. So we're already familiar with this login screen. We know that the username is admin and that the password is admin. But we want to see how we can get that username and password with the help of our Hydra tool. Of course, since this is something that we do for the educational purposes and we want to prove that it works, we will be adding the correct username and password in the users and in the passwords file. So in the users file from the previous video, we already have the admin username. And in the passwords file, we want to add the admin as a possibility right here. So let's add admin. And now once we craft our Hydra command, we should be able to get the correct credentials outputted for us. Okay, time to craft the command, which is the hard part of this tool. As we remember from the previous video, the first thing that we do is we specify the IP address of the target that we want to scan. Once we do that, we determine whether the credentials are being submitted with POST request or with GET request. To do that, we can go to the page and go on page source. Then, once again, we want to find the form where the usernames and passwords are being submitted. And here we will see that it is once again a POST request. Okay, awesome. So we're using HTTP form-post. After we specify this, we open double quotes. Now comes the hard part. We need to specify first the path to the page that we want to brute force. So let's type in incorrect credentials, click on login, and we get this path. So slash dvwa slash login.php. Let's copy it and let's paste it right here. This is our first parameter inside double quotes, the path to the page. Now comes the name of the username field, the name of the password field, and the button name, as well as what to do with the button. So once again, go back to the page source and find the code where the username field is being labeled. Here it is. If we take a look, right here the name of the username field is simply username. So we will type that in. Username equals then we type upper arrow, user, upper arrow, and then the sign to separate it from the password. Now we want to find the password field. Here it is, right below the username field, and the name for it is password. So let's type that in inside of our command. Type in password equals upper arrow, pass, upper arrow. Okay, awesome. And the last part, which we once again separate with this sign is the button itself. Let's go all the way down and here is the button. The name of the button is login and we submit it right here. So we're going to specify that as login equals submit. And this will once again tell our Hydra command to submit the username and password once it types them in. And at the end, we have a third option for our double quotes parameter, which is going to be the incorrect message that we get for incorrect credentials. Since we typed in test and test as username and password, we got this message down here that says login failed. So let's copy it straight away and let's add it to the end of our command. Paste to clipboard and close the double quotes. This should be enough for Hydra to be able to brute force the page and also determine which credentials are correct and which are not. At the end, all we're left to do is specify capital L for the users list and capital P for the passwords list. And this is our entire command. Let's give it a try. If we run it, give it a couple seconds and it finishes the brute force once again in around one second time. We get the correct credentials right here, which are admin and admin. So we successfully brute force this page. And if we want to, we can log in right here. Awesome. 
so we covered Hydra tool. Now, we are officially done with the brute force part of this course, but in the next video I also want to show you another possibility with Hydra that you can use besides brute forcing different web pages. It will be a short video and you might find it useful in your penetration tests. Nonetheless, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lecture.